it's definitely the people side of the business. Also, it is the innovation that we have. We're always moving forward, never standing still, so. Who is this for again? Greg Fisher. I thought he was dead. Let's get into it then. Too easy of a question. His expense account. I have to believe that Greg uh, absolutely loves Argyle, loves the product, loves the legacy that they've built under his tenure. Uh, but I think the thing that it would come back to is Greg probably most loves the people. It's, it's a, the brand is like nothing else. It is something that people, people cleave to, people want, people call it by name. Uh, and, and it's just a, it's a staple in the industry. Uh, it's, a, it's a family environment still. Probably the free swag and sample policy. I'd say for the future of Cambro, there's so many more opportunities in so many different areas with our product lines and things we'll be developing over the next two to three years. So the future is better than it's ever been at Cambro. Well, I think he is hoping he made a, a big impact while he was there and that it will continue to be a leader. I think he also wants his legend to continue with um, Duffy Boat Adventures. I, I think Greg has to be excited that he's leaving Cambro in really good hands and, and correspondingly that has us excited. Um, he built a, a, a great sales organization and, and there's other departments that are obviously uh, incredibly strong as well as the reinvestment from Argyle. Uh, I think it's definitely one of legacy. He's made a, a tremendous mark on the company, a tremendous mark on the industry as a whole, uh, and then uh, how that gets carried out. Uh, there's a lot of things that will continue on uh, that, that uh, have Greg's thumbprint all over them uh, that uh, will be going on and, and will leave the company growing for many, many years to come. The relationships and the people that he's worked with along the way, he's been there to help grow them, and uh, I think that uh, both the culture uh, and the professionalism, I think, is, is a big part of that. I think he leaves a lot of that uh, behind uh, with those people and with those relationships. So I'll go back to the swag and uh, sample policy. <laughs> you know, I'm looking forward to taking all of the things that we've learned, the things that we've been doing for the many years, uh, all of the new products, and seeing how uh, you get a little different spin on it now. You know, you got Jim Skelly coming into uh, coming into play now and leading the charge, uh, picking up where where uh, Greg's leaving off. I'm excited for who is coming in and filling in and, and filling those shoes for Greg. I think it's going to be a, it's a new exciting chapter. Uh, Jim, it's going to be exciting uh, to see what he does. I am most excited about having some real leadership now that Greg is out of the way. Probably when I was hired by Cambro back 17 years ago, it was the uh, biggest, one of the most uh, enjoyable and exciting days of my life. So I think it really goes back to the very beginning of Crane. We were a couple years into it and we got the phone call from Cambro to see if we would be interested in taking on the line. And that really put Crane on the map. It would be extremely arrogant of me to not recognize the fact that Greg is my uncle and Greg has opened a lot of doors that you know, we've had to go and we've had to uh, walk through those doors and then perform. Greg did create a wonderful opportunity for Crane. When I told Greg that Chris and I were gonna start Crane, Greg's response was, wow, that sounds like something amazing. I really appreciate Greg for what he's done for, for Crane. The first time I think I was ever on a Duffy boat, Greg was the captain of the Duffy boat. Well, on Pandora, I think I still had the commercials playing, you know, every third song or whatever. And he said, Nick, buy Rachel one less glass of wine at dinner this month and you've covered the cost of getting rid of commercials on your Pandora. And so ever since I'm like, yeah, you're right. It's the cost of one glass of wine. Why am I being so cheap? So thank you, Greg. I got rid of all the commercial uh, and the ads on my Pandora because of you many, many years ago. You know, I'll go, I'll go serious on this one. Greg always brings it at the sales meetings. He always finds a way to make it entertaining and fun for everyone. And I will, 
I will miss seeing him get up and, uh, and do his thing. Being able to do multiple things in, in, uh, outside of the Canberra world. So to have more, more views of different things uh, that are out there in the business world and in my personal life. First of all, probably figuring out how he can keep his expense account at Cambro, and then, and then golf. He's probably going to be most excited to go back and, and do things uh, strictly on his terms. Uh, I, I got to imagine there's a, a few more glasses of scotch, a few more rounds of golf, a few more hikes in the Sierra Nevadas, and uh, who knows, maybe maybe even some grandchildren in the in the relative near future. But uh, I don't think we're going to see the end of Greg. I think what Greg's looking forward to most in retirement is probably never hearing from me again or having to deal with me, to be frank. In retirement, I don't think Greg's retiring. Uh, he's got, that guy never sits still. He's going to have a few things up his sleeves. Uh, so as far as quote unquote retirement, probably just getting a break from a few of the craniacs and, and some of his, some of the Cambro reps. And uh, uh, after that break, he'll be back at it pretty quickly. Man, he's going to be, uh, he's not, he won't sit around. He's going to get bored if he's not, uh, not active. Uh, so I know he'll probably be traveling. Uh, I know he traveled a lot when he was at Canberra. I think he enjoys that. So now he'll get to do it for fun. I think probably looking forward to Manny's and Petty's with Lindsay and, uh, and Cindy. Um, that's probably what he's looking forward to most. Proud of you, Greg. You've done a great job. You've been a great leader in the industry. Greg Fisher, congratulations on your retirement. Job well done. The Crane family, the East family, and I are all extremely appreciative. Wish you the best in the future. Have fun, buddy. Greg, uh, just want to tell you, uh, thank you. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, without you, Crane would not be what it is today. Without you, Cambro wouldn't be what it is today. Without you, our industry would not be what it is today. Uh, you've been truly impactful on so many. I'm thankful that you helped me get to where I am in my career and provided the support and the opportunities that you had. Best of luck to you. I know we'll see you again soon. Take care, Greg. Greg, thank you uh, for everything that you've meant to not just Cambro, but the food service industry. Thank you for everything you've meant to me and the Crane and the Craniacs. Uh, you will forever be a Craniac, and uh, we hope uh, that you're not a stranger. Uh, best of luck in your retirement, and come see us. Greg, congratulations. It's an amazing achievement, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what this next chapter holds for you. We love you, and we'll miss you in the day-to-day -day interactions. Um, and, and as far as last advice for you, before you go out on the course again, I would contact your local PGA professional because uh, you do need some, uh, some pro help there, bud. Cheers. <laughs>